There's a uranium supply squeeze, own domestic producers and processors. Capital 10X highlights the four stocks with exposure. Kazataprom, the world's largest uranium supplier, reduced their 2025 production guidance by 20%, delivering a significant blow to an already tight and undersupplied uranium market. U.S. uranium production has collapsed over the last decade. The value of domestic pounds will significantly increase in the coming years. Currently, the U.S. represents 27% of global demand, while only producing 1% of supply. A clear mismatch. We believe there's significant upside in American companies currently producing uranium and owning licensed processing mills. There are currently three publicly traded companies that are producing uranium in the United States. Energy Fuels, UR Energy, and Encore Energy. There are only two licensed, permitted, and constructed uranium processing mills in America. White Mesa, owned by Energy Fuels, and Shootering Canyon Mill, owned by Anfield Energy. Anfield Energy CEO Corey Diaz highlights significant scarcity value of Shootering Canyon Mill. We have one of only three licensed, permitted, and constructed conventional uranium mills. Ours is one of the most unique because it has very little environmental liabilities associated with it. And so it's a turnkey project. Very little money is required to refurbish the mill in order to get it back into production. If we look at the value of our mill compared to other mills in the marketplace, the cost to replace Shearing Canyon Mill would be roughly $250 million. So this is the end of our conveyor belt. From here, the ore will drop into this chute. This chute drops the ore down into the sag mill. And the sag mill is our most important piece of equipment on the site. It is what makes the whole process. So you can see that this control room built in 1979 is clearly dated. That said, if you look at all the equipment inside the actual mill itself, that is technology that hasn't changed in those 40 years. So as we move forward, we'll be using a lot of the equipment that sits there today. The conveyor belt, the sag mill, the leach tanks, the CCD circuit, the SX, these are all things which are required for production to be restarted here. And so we'll be using that equipment as we move forward. We feel that this mill will be able to run to capacity very quickly. There are a couple of reasons for that. First of all, we have stockpiles of mined material that will be first feed into the mill. Uh, the stockpile sitting at site and at one of our mines has about 400,000 pounds of uranium available to be put through the mill. I think secondarily, the two mines that we plan to start up, Velvetwood and Slick Rock, We'll be ready in about 18 months, so roughly six months ahead of restart at the mill. So those stockpiles will be available to feed into the mill as soon as the mill is ready to accept it. I think when we talk about the other properties that we have, both in Colorado and in New Mexico, those will provide us with even more material. So we'll always have material available to flow into the mill in order to meet the capacity as we start moving forward, trying to reach that three million pounds per year of production.